I'm Sandra Selig and I'm a, a Brisbane based artist um, on Yagra and Turbal lands and uh, I've just made a work in eight artists exhibition at the NCA and um, it's a salt drawing titled Returning Eye Number Four. I think of the work as a drawing, as an, a drawing that's a drawing action in a way. So the work um, developed out of uh, the idea of, of trying to draw in space or trying to draw in the air, much like uh, a bird might sweep through, through the air. But I've I just always, always just wanted to make a pendulum <laughs> to make uh, a work out of a pendulum or just to see how what a pendulum does to this to a space to an empty space and so the first time I tried to do this in a gallery I decided to use metal plates hot rolled steel so the work in the MCA show is one of these um, iterations all of them are titled returning eye this one's returning eye number four and the eye I guess refers to the way that the pendulum and the drawing moves and creates itself in the same kind of um, energy every time and creates a center and it comes back to a center every time. So I give the pendulum a push, which is my energy transferring into the pendulum and into the string and into the airspace and all sorts of other things that come into play, the weight of the salt in the bottle, um, the length of the string, the height of the ceiling. It, it, it rotates and swings around and, and my energy gets imparted into the work and translated into the work. Yeah, and that becomes like a, I guess, an ephemeral example of a present, like a, a moment in time. So I tried a number of different materials like sand didn't flow very well, a bag of sand on the end of the string. Um, and then I tried salts and found that it flowed beautifully and the white, the bright white crystals were um, really somehow, something was happening there that was really engaging to me. And the, the drawing that it left each time I did it on the floor became um, somewhat like a diagram of of a galaxy or of or of a whirlpool or of the the trace of a, a, a comet you know around a planet or and so many different things that I had kind of seen before in my my collection of science books that I have as well it also uh, hadn't had a reaction with the floor with the metals in the floor and started to rust as well so then the salt became more than just an interesting bright white drawing material. It became um, something that symbolised uh, an interaction between materials. Yeah, I'm interested in uh, how everyday materials can be played with. Um, for example, when I'm using sewing thread, the first time I used sewing thread, I just stretched it out across a room just to see how far I could actually still see it and then it would disappear from my vision um, and then kind of going from there to see how much the material will unfold or find something in the space that I don't necessarily see straight away so I know that I'm kind of manipulating the material but I feel like I'm listening to it as much as manipulating it at the same time. I want it to tell me something that I didn't know before. I think it's, it's uh, nice when uh, viewers of the work respond in um, a very uh, curious way about what's happening so that they'll wonder how it was made or try and imagine the path of the pendulum or the drawing line and you kind of replay that in your mind and what that might make you think of or how it might make you feel as well.
and noti- noticing that there might be changes happening in the work and that it's fragile and that we'll only be here for a short amount of time as well. Mm-hmm.